What's up, YouTube? Sorry for all the construction noise in the background, but got a good video today. We're gonna make it work. We got the new grill. Finally changing out my old one. This is gonna be the upgraded TRD Pro Grill. We're gonna put this and change out the old one. Only thing that's gonna be a little tricky is a TSS garnish in the back. We gotta set that up perfectly, which I've got right here. This is a new one. Um, so yeah, I've been watching a couple videos and it shouldn't be too hard. So stick around and hopefully it doesn't take too long. Hope we don't break nothing. Here's what the new sensor is gonna look like, which you can see there's already like a little, uh, a little part right there where it goes. So it's gonna go behind there just like that chill back there only thing that i'm kind of annoyed is that this came in silver i wanted it in all black but now i'm gonna have to probably tape off everything and then spray paint it black and that's definitely not cement so it doesn't match the truck at all let's see let's put oh yeah i can see right now yeah that it doesn't match it dang that's a bummer but we'll figure it out all right i put a couple coats on gonna add a few more better to do more coats than try and do one thick one and you got dripping and everything I'm trying to hit all angles on it looks good so far though all right gonna take off this bolt this bolt we'll pop these clips downward uh, remove these ones uh, this clip right here is for the sensor so we'll disconnect that and we got one on this side that we'll remove as well and for these clips these just pop right up Bam, just like that. And then same on this side. Small little flathead. And pops right up. All right, to disconnect the sensor, you've got to, should be a little clip, you gotta push this piece down and then it'll pull apart. Try to do this with a GoPro. There we go. Yeah, disconnects just like that. And then you got the other piece right down there all right so once the two bolts are off the clips are off and the sensor is disconnected this thing will just pop it up and shoot there we go just release yeah pretty easy you got the whole grill came off just like that all right once the grill's removed you got to get there's all these screws you got around here I think there's around 15 or so. Then once the screws are off, you got these clips, which will push in, and those will go straight down, and the actual grill will fall off. The sensor, you got two screws right there, and then you got two larger ones on the side. Those will get removed as well. And on the new one, because you have our, our new TSS sensor, so you got to take the one off that it comes with if you don't have it, because you can order this with the uh, sensor or without. So we removed this one, and this was just um, stuck in the back. It was very easy to remove. We just had to pop off the clips. Same thing, push them in, and then downward, which every all the clips are pretty much like that. All of them, you just gotta push in and go straight down, and they're fairly easy to remove. All right, that's the grill with nothing on it. And then working on the sensor right now. Just got one more. All right, once the sensor's removed, use these washers and these will come over to the new new grill. You got both washers that'll go in and then this will eventually get installed with these clips that are gonna go into these holes right here. So I'll show that in a moment. Put that there and here's the whole, whole sensor piece. Got the wiring still all attached and you need to keep this. I mean, do we have an angle? It no, it looks flush. It's all flush on that. Yeah, so I don't know why that guy was off. Because yeah. I've seen some that nobody... That's the only one I saw that, that had Where, to do that. Yeah. Nobody else had issues with it. Yeah, so when you put the new sensor on, there's only one way to do it. You got two bolts on the side and then one up here. So that if you're worried about putting it upside down like I was at first, it's impossible to do that because it already is all lined up for you. And then the sensor, there should be no issues because this is all flush. So we shouldn't get any issues with the sensor reading or anything like that. All right, the sensor is screwed in and you're gonna notice when you first take off the sensor on the old grill, you're gonna have these two bolts with blue on them or these two screws. You are not gonna need these when the new sensor goes in. 
and then this had a mounting piece on the old one, but it'll now go into here. So it has a little slot for you to put this uh, clip in right there. I'm gonna remove all the tape from here and then put in the new Toyota. Okay, so the four screws, two and two, the, this grill comes with those two, or those four screws, but I don't know what happened to my baggie. So we put our own four screws and you know, that one's pretty easy. Just make sure you don't put the Toyota emblem in backwards or upside down. All right, so the sensor's put on, got the wiring all good to go. And now the new grill will just pop right into the, just find the appropriate areas and go right in. That, make sure everything's pushed in all the way around. Yep, all good. And then once you've got it in, you can see, you flip it over and you can see that all the clips if they're in or not. These ones weren't all the way in, so we push the grill a little more flush, go around, make sure they're all good to get. And then don't forget all the screws left over. And to go, you got them up here, there, all the way around. Just make sure all of them go back into their appropriate spot. And you're gonna have about seven or eight screws left over because there's some spots like here or here, um, right there, some that don't need to be screwed in. We had about seven left over. All right, then when we clip the grill in, you got all these clips down here. So we'll go from the bottom up. Those all go into those grooves right there. And then we'll lay it on top of the part that has to get bolted down up here. harder starting from the bottom up so these ones we're gonna put the top parts in these little slots first and then back here there's these little spikes that have to go into a little slot in there so going from the top now it's placed in we should just be able to push yeah so it's a lot easier if you go from the top put that in first and then everything else will push in it was harder going from the bottom upwards and now the whole grills in we just have to connect the sensor which is going to be pretty easy. So that's just going to be a, a plug in. There's the plug. Now just plug into the other slot right there. And then don't forget the brown clip goes in there. You got the white clip down here just to keep the wiring secure. And then you got the two. Make sure the that piece is popped up and then it'll go. It'll fall down and then you just push it straight down and you're all good to go give you guys a look at the grill again looks so much better i'm happy i spray painted that block turning the truck on the first time since the new grill and sensors installed let's hope i've got no all right just my parking light seatbelt light so far so good let's go drive it around and hopefully the sensor doesn't come up all right so far so good i've had no issues no sensor indicator coming up what i'm going to do is set the cruise control let's see here right already okay it's set so see the three the three um little rectangles right there that means that it's censoring like how far away from a vehicle i want to be man it's bumpy so okay it did start getting slower there's a car up here okay perfect everything's all good so what those three rectangles are, are the adaptive cruise control so the closer i get to a vehicle the truck will start to slow down um, and then if I'm farther away, it'll get back up to speed to whatever I had it at, which I really like that. It's a cool feature. You can feel the car or the truck like braking and then accelerating on its own. Almost feels like a, like a self-driving vehicle, but, um, so far no issues at all. I think there was one video or one YouTuber uploaded a video and his sensor was not aligned properly or something like that. And it kept giving him the sensor indicator and he said that he had to make it flush. 
which when we installed the sensor, there was no way to make it not flush. Like it had the three, three holes for the screws and it was perfectly flush, no issues at all. And um, you know, they screwed in easily. So no issues, everything's all good. Thank God we happen to do it without breaking the grill. Um, I'll give you guys another shot real quick and then we'll be on to the next modification. Thanks for watching. All right, there you guys go. The new grill installed on the 2020 Tacoma TRD off-road. It's kind of sunny, so you can't really get that good of a view. But again, that's all I made that all blacked out because it was like a silver before. Looks so much better. Happy I got rid of the old or the stock grill.